Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So I am super thankful that it's raining. Not that my plants are receiving any rain, but I just always welcome the rain, you know? So it's a rainy day outside today. It was really thundering and lightning, but what I wanted to share with you all today is a problem that I'm gonna have to stop and take care of before it gets worse than what it is so if you remember in one of the videos i you know told you all that my lavender had like suddenly died and it could have been several reasons i i was thinking one of the ones um was it stayed too moist and lavender doesn't like um wet feet and then i was thinking maybe not enough sun but then when i go to this rosemary it seems to be doing okay it could be doing better but as I was lifting the lavender out, lo and behold, we discovered fungus gnats. And I'm doing like this because you may or may not be able to see this. So the first thing I did was, normally when I have fungus gnats, I will try to remedy the problem with a little bit of peroxide and water and just kind of spray, hoping that it will um, kind of kill any eggs that are in there. So I'm gonna let this stay like this for a couple of days and then reassess it. But then I also noticed fungus gnats in this one and some fungus gnats in this one too. So this came from the first bag of potting soil that I got that I told y'all I never used before, but I was gonna try. I don't think it has anything to do like with the soil itself. Um, and another thing that I was noticing with this soil, if you can kind of see uh, this right here. So you probably could see some of the fungus gnats in there and like right over here. So I think what the best thing for me to do, because y'all know I am a big fan of the Pro Mix right here. And I use the Pro Mix in our um, impatience right here. I still have to cover it up with a straw mulch, but I have not had a problem with this one. And I want to say, I want to say this one was the first one too. So I know it's going to be a little bit of work, but it's going to be worth it. Like I'm going to have to do it. I may even just like go in the garage um, and not do it here because um, another problem that we're having is y'all remember I told you it slats like here so everything is coming down here which is why I am keeping a broom um, right here it was just oh gosh it was horrible um, this is me after I have swept everything up so um, yeah, that is another little issue there, but I think what I'm going to do is just to get rid of, um, the fungus gnats because I don't want them to keep getting worse. Um, and I can tell, like, I kind of can tell that these aren't happy either. Like they're surviving, but I want to get rid of the fungus gnats. Like I want to go ahead and get rid of the problem. So I think what I'm going to do is just dump the soil um and it was in this one it definitely was in this one it was in these right here because i was going to go ahead and repot those with some of the herbs that we got and i want to say this one yeah this one too although this doesn't i can see the fungus gnats although it's not like really affected so sometimes those are things that you have to do so that the problem does not continue to persist so got a little job got a little workout for me I was actually out here you know kind of setting up everything on our grow rack that I was going to show you um, I haven't potted them yet because that kind of took when I saw the fungus gnats from pulling this lavender that kind of took my attention off of going ahead potting these up and showing you all the end results but I will do that um, but I just want to get that problem taken care of. And so um, basically what I'm going to try to do is just shake, you know, get rid of the so uh, soil, shake it off really good and start with some new soil. And then I will have um, 
my peroxide and water solution, but I also have a, um, oh my gosh, I don't know if I brought it or not, that it was it was a powder specifically for um, fungus gnats, but we're gonna keep an eye on it. I just wanted to share that with y'all because sometimes that happens. It could be like a bad batch of um, potting mix, and I really feel like that is what it was. It was infested with fungus gnats because all of the ones like these right here this already had I want to say its own soil I may have topped it off a little bit with that one but um yeah so that that's that kind of puts a hinder on me and y'all probably can see them really good um in this one right here and that's very irritating to me like I don't Y'all know how I am about my plants. Like I do my best to take care of them. So I got to get that taken care of. But I just wanted to share with you that. Now, it used to be that when I bought potting soil, you can um, kind of put boiling water on there so that if any anything like that happens, it would kill it. But if it's already, you know, have things like mycorrhiza or something like that, I was afraid that it would kill everything um the good and the bad in there so just wanted to let you all know a little a little hindrance there but we're going to get it taken care of we got to um so that we can have our plants at least flourishing um and i hope it's not too dark for you all so at least we can have the plants just kind of flourishing um as the summer continues is almost here so as the season goes along i don't want them to struggle on this patio because they're already not getting a whole bunch of light so i don't want them to struggle with the fungus gnats as well so um just wanted to share that with you hope that it'll be able to help someone who has maybe had fungus gnats before um you can start off with the peroxide solution but if that doesn't help um, in my case, I'm just going to go ahead. I think I really am going to go ahead and just dump everything and start off with some new fresh soil. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead, subscribe to our channel and tap the button so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.